Wasabi, you guys. Welcome to Integration Be Training for Advance 8.2. We'll still be learning uh, dealing with Taylor series, but in this section, we'll deal with exponential functions within Taylor series. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have this cool looking integral here. Again, it's not integrable. However, we can use Taylor series. Now you're probably thinking, wait, how can we use Taylor series in this? So if you remember, most Taylor series that we have, well, let me first show you. To recall, the Taylor series for this is equal to the sum, infinity n equals to one, negative one to the power of n plus one, x to the power of n over n. And the condition is that x has to be between negative one and one, right? But then we have an e to the negative x here. Uh, can we use Taylor series in this? Yes, we can. ln of 1 plus e to the negative x, you're literally just substituting x equals to e to the negative x. That's all you're doing. So what we have here is we have e to the negative x n or n. And of course, we can def we can still integrate this, right? Because e to the negative x and whatever, that's still integrable, okay? And of course, this works because e to the negative x, right? As long as, well, plug in zero here, it's, it's still, this is still uh, in between negative one and one, right? Plug in zero, it's one. Okay, plug in infinity, we get zero. So that it's you're it's kind of like letting u equal e to the negative x. That's pretty much what it is. Let u equal e to the negative x, and it, you just get the same results. Uh, Taylor series. Okay. Uh, of course, you can do that. You can do u substitution. Uh, honestly, I think. They're both as equally as fast, uh, letting u equal e to the negative x, or just writing, just just going straight into uh, the series here. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and go straight into the series, just for the purpose of this video. All right, so the series, this is n equals to one, negative one n plus one e to the negative x n over n. And so now what we have here, n plus one, I'm just gonna write it like that, e to the negative x n dx. So this is what we have, right? This is exactly what we have, okay? And so now this is equal Over n, let's see, e to the, this is negative e to the negative xn over n from 0 to infinity. Plug infinity, everything's just going to be 0. Plug in 0, you just get 1. So, well, positive 1 over n. So we end up with negative n plus 1 over n squared. And this is equal. 2 pi squared over 12. And that is our answer. Okay? Very nice. Let's go ahead and do the next integral. Here, I mean, if you do integration by parts, it's uh, you'll just end up with the Taylor series uh, from the previous problem, from the previous, previous integral we did. Here, it's we don't have to do that. We could just go straight into geometric series. Um, it's not like the previous where you can let u equal e to the x or u equal negative e to the negative x. So, I'm sorry, u equals e to the negative x. Uh, it won't be very straightforward. I think that would be a little nasty. Although you can do that, but we're going to dive in straightforward now. You have to turn this into e to the negative x. You cannot use e to the x. OK? 
okay you cannot use this series here and you can just be like oh this is um, you know geometric series of e to the xn you cannot use this this is a no-no let me tell you why because your bound goes from 0 to infinity right this only works if e to the x is between negative 1 and 1 however with our bound plug in 0 e to the 0 is equal to 1 however e to the infinity equals to infinity so with this bound we're actually going out of we are literally going out of one does that make sense so because of that you cannot use this geometric series okay you cannot it has to be between negative one and one that function that you're using must be between negative one and one even if it's a function okay so we have to turn this into e to the negative x so that we can use Taylor series that's in between uh, negative 1 and 1 which this bound must satisfy so here's what I mean by that so again x e to the negative x e to the negative x plus 1 and now we can use Taylor series right this is pretty much this I'm sorry. Actually, this is n equals to 1 because we have e to the negative x here. Uh, it's nice to do it this way rather than factoring it out because you have uh, less things to work with. So now we have e to the negative xn. And now, does this satisfy? Yes, it does. Plug in 0, you get 1. Plug in infinity, you get 0. But at the interval of 0 to infinity, this whole function will always stay in between negative 1 and 1. Okay? Yes. Now we can use this Taylor series and plug it in. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so I am I am missing a negative. I apologize. This is actually negative. Because of uh, the n here, uh, if I, you know, if I let x n equal to 1, you get negative 1 of e to the negative x. And so this should be negative. So that's what I messed up on. So it's a negative, a negative here, and then a negative here. And that's where I get the, my answer. That's pi square over 12. OK? Oh my god. Be very careful. Uh, I just realized that. So negative, okay, when you're doing geometric series, especially alternating geometric series, you still have to uh, put in for negatives, this negative one to the power of n, okay? Be very careful with that. That can definitely screw you up in big time, okay? So just be aware of that. Be aware of negatives, especially when shifting your initial term. I'm sorry, not shifting. Starting with your initial term. Uh, be aware of negatives. Okay, inverse tanch of e to the negative x. You could use this. And then have e to the negative x here and here. Integrate from that. But, I'm lazy. So, I just want to go dive straight into Taylor series. So, let's, let's do that, right? So, we know this Taylor series n equals to 0, uh, e to the negative x of 2n plus 1 to over 2n plus 1. Okay? So now what we have here, uh, this should be in yellow. We are performing Taylor series now. This is 2n plus 1, so to infinity, e to the uh, negative x 2n plus 1 dx this is equal well, I'm just going to go dive right in 2n plus 1 plug in 0 plug in infinity ah of course 
So what we have here, if you plug in infinity, I'm sorry, this should be negative, right? Because it's a negative e to the x, e to the negative x. So we have this negative, that negative is going to cancel out when we plug in zero. So overall, we're going to be left with the sum of 1 over 2n plus 1 squared. Do you remember this? This is equal to pi squared over 8. Okay, this is our last one. This is our last integral. Uh, how do we solve this? How do we compute this? So, you're probably already suspicious. Wait a minute. Well, I mean, first of all, we need that to be 1 plus e to the negative x over 1 minus e to the negative x dx, right? And then we can go ahead and split this into 2. And now it's just solving two Taylor series. So what we have now, go ahead and plug in Taylor series here. This is what? e to the, this is negative 1 and plus 1, e to the negative xn, n minus, and then here this was negative n, I'm sorry, no, no, no. This is just e to the negative xn over n. Uh, however, uh, within also has plus, the negative cancels out, okay? And that's what we should end up with. Okay, so now we go ahead, integrate, if we just integrate this, uh, e to the negative x, well, they're both dealing with this, so let me just write a shortcut here. Right, this is equal to negative e to the negative xn, 0 to infinity, uh, that divided by n, don't forget that. This is just going to equal to 1 over n. Okay, so what we have is literally negative n plus 1 over n squared plus 1 over n squared here. Ah, so what we have here now is we have pi squared over 12 plus pi squared over 6. This is, what is this? Plus 2, 12, that's 1 fourth. Ah, so our answer is pi squared over 4. Okay? I know I went by very fast, but that's the, I mean, this, this is advanced uh, integration B training. Uh, for speed integrators, for advanced speed integrators, this is how we supposed to speed integrate this quickly. Okay? All right, and that was it. That was our last integral. Again, it takes some time to get used to with the sums. The sums is the most difficult to handle. So definitely keep practicing. Rewatch this video. Try the integrals on your own until you become very comfortable and mentally fast and accurate with this technique. Okay? I hope this was very helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part.